Hello, I'm Paula J. Parker. I'm Lisa Wu. And I'm Countess Vaughn. And, and you're, you're watching, watching Madame Noir. Noir. I decided to do reality TV because reality TV wanted me. And pretty much not too many people in Hollywood other than <laughs> wanted me. So reality TV came from Atlanta and snatched me out of the dust and shook me off and shined me all clean <laughs> and threw me on TV. Help me get a home for my family, a car to drive, and I'm thankful and I haven't looked back since. And uh, for me, returning back to reality television, you know, I got um, used to being, having my privacy, you know, so, so um, but when the show um, presented itself, it made sense because a lot of people didn't know that I started out writing and producing, so I did it for that purpose because I'm like, you know, being amongst them and they're great actors, I said, you know what? perfect opportunity for everyone to know that, you know, what my real history and background is. And so it, it just made sense. For me, I basically had checked out of Hollywood. And so in order, in order for my audience to know what was going on with me, you know, do a show so they could play catch up and know what Countess is up to. We're vagabonds. Acting is a gypsy lifestyle. Um, my husband and I have been living the gypsy lifestyle since we've been married. Before I got married, I was living the gypsy lifestyle on my own. But when you bring a child into the mix, you know, you've got to start thinking differently. We invested our money in making a movie and there was supposed to be a return and it never happened. And we ended up losing my home, our home. Yep, so we're starting all over again together. Well, the reality is, in reality, you're forced to deal with your issues. And what was happening between Golden and I is something that I would never have brought up to a woman. Flirting with my man, I'm very possessive, but I would never let you know that it bothered me or I noticed it. I take it up with him. But because we were in a situation where there was no exit clause, I had to deal with my issues with her so that we could move on. So I was forced to handle a situation I wouldn't have handled any other time. You know, um, would I ever be on a reality show again, married or in a relationship? Absolutely not. Mm. And um, I don't think it causes problems, but what happens is I think it magnifies what is already there. And then what's happening is, you know, um, because it's a reality show, when you meet people, they feel like they know you. So instead of playing characters, you know, they'll, they'll quote their lines, but in your real life, they know your personal situation. So now they feel like they can comment on your personal situation, but it's my marriage. So, so I think that relationships need to be sacred and, and, and you know, I wouldn't recommend it because then it gets all these outside influences. Like when I went through the divorce, you know, and I was like, you know, TMZ was like, well, you know, and people in the comments were like, well, you, you know, this is what you expect. I mean, you chose this life, but we're still human. And we, sometimes you just need a break, like, you know, so that they, they forget that part. Oh, I've been through it before. I was on Celebrity Fit and went through my divorce. I was married one minute and by episode three, we really? were divorcing. So what do you think? You think it's the same thing that I said? You think it's... Um, yeah, no, I just feel like it depends on the relationship. And we were best friends. You know, I mean, I thought... We're, we're you know? in a good place right now, me and my baby. You know? It's a new baby. Yeah, that I've been with for eight years, so it ain't all that new. It's just you guys are catching up to what I'm doing. But, yeah, but I had a great relationship on the show, too. So it's not even that, you know? So, but I just... I just wouldn't do it again for me. I just, right. you know, I, I like having my, I think it's an sense. individual thing. Yeah. yeah. And, and I think that um, if you are, you just got to block out whatever, you know. She's right, though. You just have to block I'm, that I'm out. Her, you know. Yeah. Both. Both. Yeah. For us, I think sisterhood. I mean, you know, that that although we bicker and we butt and heads. we are human. Yeah. My God. And we've yeah. all been through some stuff. You're going to see us overcome a lot of stuff, grow. Yes. You know, and I mean, if you want to continue to learn more about us, don't judge. Mm. Yeah, just, 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 yeah. Just observe. Observe and you'll see why we do the things we do or why we did the things that we did instead of just judging it from the get go. Yes. I oh. Just, yeah. What? <laughs> Say it. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> and we're being, we're being very, very open with you guys, with our lives. Like, I've never been this open in my life. Like, I'm a little daunted by Twitter. Like, that's how private I am. And we're really, all of us, letting you in. So, yeah, respect It's pretty that. vulnerable. Yeah. And, and I, you Be know. Be gentle with the tweets and the 
vlogs. I know you won't, but just. Right, it is what it yeah. is. Yeah. You just gotta stop reading it. Too. I gotta stop. You gotta stop yeah. reading it. She told me I gotta grow some balls. And yeah, yeah, you have to have a thick skin. I mean, yeah. definitely on Housewives of Atlanta. That was such a huge oh platform. You know, the, it, such it, a unfortunately, huge it's going to strike at, at different things too. Yeah. If you have tough skin when it comes to one yourself, thing, yes, yeah. yes. Then they but then they go in on, on your, your baby. On your yeah. Because if yes. they blue eyed yes. my baby, I'm gonna have a baby. problem. Well, you know, I've, I've had to address this plenty of times. It's sad that grown ass people mm -hmm. would sit up and comment on a teenage relationship. If you know how teenagers are, they fuss in one minute and then they best friends the next minute. So it always bothered me that people were always like, oh, what, what, what was happening? What teenagers do? If you have any teenager that you know, you pretty much know right. how they go up and down. Mm -hmm. And we are good friends now, mm -hmm. especially going through different situations that we've had to, right. you know, life. We've had three separated situations where people have died mm -hmm. on our show. It's, it's too much mm -hmm. to be acting ugly towards mm -hmm. each other. It's all about loving each other while we can. Mm -hmm. I, I, you know, I don't know what happened and why she got demoted. Um, people ask me all the time, am I um, happy that I'm no longer on the show? I'm happy I'm on the outside looking in, but I was never, um, that wasn't my personality. They, they didn't bother me like that. I don't know that it, Kenya and I would get along because um, I'm very I'm, I'm aggressive I know too. I wouldn't get along with her. And um, I don't like people taunting me or you know. So I, I'm more of a real. I'm a, crazy. Yeah, I'm a she real person. It. I'm the same person that yeah. See, I'm the same person on camera as I'm off camera. And so sometimes they're not like that. They have these what we call camera balls. Yeah. And so one thing I can say about um, this show and us is that we are all the same on camera and off camera. Mm -hmm. That's the most authentic thing I can definitely say. Oh, um, I, I'm gonna do something with it. The throat is still there. <laughs> yeah, yeah the, the throat is still here. Yes. And I'm, I'll be doing a song with Big Frida. If you're familiar with it, yeah. well, it is what it is. You'll be seeing <laughs> that in the work.